Hey everybody, welcome back to an Extrovert Paints. This is a very quick video just to say thank you all who have liked, commented, and subscribed in the last couple of weeks. It's been very heartwarming and gratifying to finally get over a thousand subs. It has taken nine years to get here. For those of you who have stuck with me all this time, thank you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, I don't do this for money. I've never done this for money. There's there's, uh, there's, this is a hobby and my main goal has always been to kind of fill a gap in the YouTube tutorial community. That is, if I find something that I would want to see that I, I don't have, I have not found any videos on, um, I try to create that content, create that video so that other people can, can learn from it and experience and get experience from it just as I have from other channels. Like, um, you know, there's a, Sonic Sledgehammer, for example, Troy, he's a great guy, got a lot of great videos out there. Um, and, and so I just want to say overall, thank you everyone who has supported this channel for all this time. At the end of this video, I will be posting up some images of what I've been working on off camera and, uh, I'll voice over that as well, because I do think that I do want to create tutorials on a lot of things going forward. There's so many um, so many projects I've been working on that I've really kind of been building my painting techniques and, and kind of developing my skills so that I can create better content for all of you out there who have commented specifically or messaged me and asked me to do certain things. Yes, all of that is coming. Um, my interests have changed over the years. I know um, when I first started out on this channel, I was very AWI, American War of Independence centric. That has shifted quite a bit, you know, very dramatically um, into predominantly World War II based uh, content over the last couple of months. And I, I do think that's gonna be my, that's gonna be my brand going forward. Um, you know, I will be focusing a lot more on World War II related topics. That said, I'm also into the Napoleonics and there will be some videos on painting certain Napoleonic figures. Um, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to paint warm white using uh, some Perry miniatures. Uh, and that's going to be coming out hopefully uh, soon. I do want to get through some of my other World War II content first. Uh, I also have a video coming out on how to paint goggles. I think that that's something that's severely lacking in the tutorial um, category on YouTube. There's a lot of videos on gem effects and things like that, but not really how to apply them to historical World War II miniatures. And I really think that that's something that I would like to demonstrate for all of you in its own video. So I might do that next. Um, there are other videos that I have been putting together. For example, um, various versions of the DAC uniform. You can see that here I've been working on quite a few DAC figures. Um, and I have a couple of Rommel figures that I want to paint up. I might do those at the tutorial on Rommel. So that'll be coming relatively soon. I might even be doing a warm white tutorial on a Rommel figure as well. Um, finally, um, I do I do have some vehicle tutorials, paint tutorials I want to do, uh, specifically Italian uh, tanks and vehicles, DAC vehicles. Uh, so do look forward to that. I, I again, it's been, it's been a very hard year, but um, thank you everybody. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Thank you everybody who's been... Um, so generous and, and, and so forthcoming. I do try to answer all my comments. Uh, also really quick. Um, I have an Instagram and a Facebook page. I'll post links to those in the description box below. Please follow me on those, share my content so other people can see it. And if you get anything out of my videos, please consider just subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, all of that helps. It helps with the algorithm. It gets my videos out there. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So thanks everyone again. Please continue to support and I will continue to create content. Thanks again and take care everybody. Okay, so on to the showcase part of this video. Uh, these are Vitrix miniatures that I've kit bashed using Games Workshop Skullbox as well as the Warlord Games skeletons from their Warlords of Erewhon set. Uh, this is for the Silver Bayonet. The bases are from Green Stuff, I'm sorry, no, sorry, Gamer's Grass, they're the temple bases. I've just painted them up in the style of the Christmas City box. I really like the designs, the kind of midnight uh, stonework. These are some ghosts. These are Reaper miniatures. Uh, also for the Silver Bayonet, I've, I was experimenting with some ways to paint ghosts, so that's why they all look slightly different. 
Um, I, if you like these, I can do a video tutorial on how I painted them. Um, you know, just let me know in the comments which ones you, you like, and I can go ahead and do videos on that. There's Silver Band, that's a great game. I uh, highly recommend it for anyone who's into Napoleonics and Paul Parr. It's really, really cool. Uh, this is also for the Silver Bayonet. These are Perry Miniatures, um, Kit Bash Perry Miniatures sets. This is the 5th Regiment of Italians. Um, and primarily, these would have seen action in uh, the Peninsular War, also in Italy um, during the Calabrian Wars. Um, very, very cool unit. They in between 1809 and 1811, they had this blue regimental with orange uh, orange facings. These are the Italian elite Velite Belite uh, Chassers. Uh, they were a guard unit. Very, very cool unit. These are probably my favorite miniatures I painted up this year. I think they turned out really well. These are all Perry miniatures. Um, they are light infantry and uh, just really hard-hitting unit. They, they fought uh, in the Peninsular War and also I think a battalion of them fought in Austria as well. Very, 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 very hard-hitting unit, um, and I just couldn't wait. So obviously I've done some World War II stuff this year. Um, I've done uh, a, basically a, a small platoon of 8th Army Desert Rats. So I've got these guys here. Um, I've, I've done some, this is very basic, this paint job. I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on these guys, but I really like how they turned out. Um, I've also done some vehicles for the 8th Army uh, for, the, for the North Africa campaign, um, which we're going to be looking at. This is one of the SAS LRDG type um, vehicles. This is uh, from Rubicon, Rubicon models. They have great miniatures. I'm really a big fan of their kits. Um, I used an airbrush for the first time on this miniature to get the camo uh, pattern that I liked. I really I have to experiment more with using an airbrush. I don't typically use it, so uh, this is my first attempt, and, and I, I thought it came out okay. Um, this is a Perry Miniatures model. This is the uh, Mormon Herring, Herring, Herring? I, I can't remember the name of the vehicle. It's a South African uh, built um, armored car used in North Africa. I, I love this kit. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. I replaced the metal barrel with a plastic one from the 8th Army box from Willer Games to give it a bit more stability um, because I thought the metal pewter barrel was kind of a little wimpy. Uh, on to my Italians now. So this is the first uh, squad I've done for uh, North Africa for my Italians. I plan on more. I'm waiting for the Bersaglietti plastic box to release from Willer Games because I really want to focus on the Bersaglietti in, uh, in Africa. I think their uniforms are really cool, but this is kind of my primary example of a squad of Italians from uh, that particular campaign. I, I really, really love these miniatures so much. Now into my Grenatieri di Sardegna. These are um, very specific miniatures for um, a campaign that I'm working on. Uh, it's a long story short, these are three officers here for the platoon. I've got a major, a captain, and a lieutenant. Um, very, very cool miniatures from Warlord Games. All of the re all these miniatures are from Warlord Games for my Italians. Um, the, the new sets are incredible uh, and, and the sculpts are amazing. This is the, uh, the forward operating, the forward observers, excuse me. Uh, so I've got a lieutenant here and then two NCOs. Um, the backpack radio, the, pe the pencil, those are the NCOs, and then the guy leaning over, listening into the conversation, uh, he's the officer. Again, these sculpts are amazing. I'm really happy with the way the gray-green uniform turned out. I will be doing a tutorial video on how I painted my Italians uh, very, very soon. Uh, this is the first squad of Grenatieri, um, so it just has one NCO with an SMG and then um, one LMG and a loader, and the rest all are all armed with rifles. Uh, and that's how predominantly all the rest of my uh, squads are going to look. And then my second uh, squad is in a similar fashion. Uh, again, one NCO with an SMG and one uh, LMG plus the loader. And you can identify the loader with the, uh, with the loader backpack 
Um, also the basing, I, I went for like a rubble base because these are meant for fighting in Rome uh, in 1943 against the Germans. For those of you who don't know, um, the Germans kind of attacked the Italians at the armistice. Uh, the signing of the armistice and uh, the, the Italians put up a strong fight. They lost a lot of men trying to defend the city. These are carabinieri um, with the uh, with the new um, new rules for a soft underbelly. You can take I think one or two squads of carabinieri and they're really really cool. So I decided to build one up and I painted them slightly more blue to kind of make them distinct from the granitieri on the tabletop. I know it's not historically accurate, but I really like the way these turned out that really pops on the table, that really stunning kind of aquamarine blue. And the best part is you can use this paint scheme for naval units as well. Same aquamarines around the corner right here. Uh, and then two of my uh, two of my tanks from Warlord Games, uh, I've got a Simavente 7518 and an M1441. Uh, both of these vehicles were, uh, the chemo pattern was done using an airbrush. And then I just did everything else in oils and, uh, and acrylics. And if you like these, I can do a tutorial on how I painted them up as well. These represent the Arite to uh, 135th Armored Division that fought against the Germans and actually beat them. So anyway, guys, that's what I've got for you today. Hopefully you, uh, you like this video and uh, please feel free to comment and subscribe below. Uh, and if you have any questions or, or concerns or whatever, just drop me a line. I'll answer any way I can. Like once again, I appreciate all of the time and uh, you have all put into my videos, watching them, sharing them. Um, and if there's anything else you guys need from me, just please don't hesitate. Uh, catch you guys in the next one. Take care.